Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about this before all and after all. Here we have learned about the before each and after each, right? So now we will try to learn before all and after all. So before learning this about this one, before all and after all, we need to, we will write, we will create a another new spec file. Why? Because already we have another JS file that is main.js. So which is useful for running this calculator. So this calculator.js file. So if you try to run this one, so here if I try to run 5 plus 5 and it is giving you the result 10. And if I try to give 55 something like that, now here you are able to get that operation not recognized. So this is the thing we are able to get it. Now let's try to test this main.js file also. Up to now we have tested only the calculator.js file only, the logic part, the hard, the logic part only we have tested. So now we need to test this main.js also. So before learning about the setup and tie down methods uh, uh, more, let's try to create a spec file and we'll try try to implement this before and after all in this one also. So now here in this main.js file, if you try to observe, here we are having a two functions, calculate function and also update result function. And this one is an event listener, so which will even which will listen to the event change event for the input box. And here if you try to see this calculate function, this is the calculate function. And here, this is an update result function. This update result function, what it will try to do? So it will try to update the result in the DOM, in the DOM. That means it will take the div with an ID result and it will update the result in that DOM element. Okay, so this is the function. This function is update result. And if you try to see this calculate function, this calculate function is responsible whenever you, uh, whenever the, whenever we have written the text in the te text box, so it will take this one and it will try to calculate it appropriate calculation it will try to make it so what is the thing it is trying to do it is taking the input value and it is taking the expression and it is here validating the expression so if it is nan or number b operation is there or not it is validating the expression here we can write that expression not recognized instead of operation not right expression is not recognized that means whatever the expression they have written in the text box it is not recognized so after after express if the expression is recognized so first one is taking the expression and validating the expression okay and another one is operation so it is trying to create a new calculator and it is uh, adding the calculator number a and here we are having a switch operator so that it will try to see a, uh, appropriate addition subtraction multiplication and division so it will see all these things and the last one is so whatever the uh, calculation that has done it will update the result here so now here we can also see that for example plus minus star slash if we, if any of this operation is not there means so what can I do here so default we can write here and I can update the result is equal to here it is operation not recognized so we can write operation not recognized okay so this is the operation not recognized so this is the thing so now here we are having three things nothing but first one is expression validating the expression and checking this calculator addition subtraction multiplication and division whether it is going to that appropriate method appropriate logic or not and also operation not recognized thing validating the operation and also updating the result so these are the three things we are having in this function we are having update result so let's try to implement this one so now we need to create a spec file for this main.js file so how can i create it i will create new file main.spec.js so it should be adjacent to this main.js file so that we can get, we can recognize that this is the test file for this main.js now what do we need to do we need to create a suit so now i am creating a suit test suit so that is for the main.js file and here i will create a function okay so this is the thing and the another one what we need to do here after creating this one so in this main.js we are having two two functions so one is calculate function and is the update result function so as we already discussed so let's create describe so first one is for the main okay and another one is the function so this is one suit so which represent this one and here i will be having another describe and in this one we will be adding update result function so we need to write the test cases for this update result method and here this one is also a function so now these are the nested test suits so let's try to create here something like uh, I am creating one test spec so here it validate okay I will write like like this empty one and here also I will write like this empty one let's try to see it so let's try to execute this one and let's try to see the output 
and if i go here and if i try to refresh so we are not able to see the output the main dot js the spec files whatever the spec files we have created the main dot spec dot js we are not able to see it what could be the reason here so the reason is nothing but we need to add it in the spec runner dot html file we need to add the reference in the spec runner dot html file so what we can we do here i can add in the source file so main dot js we need to add the main dot js source file and also we need to add the spec files here so main dot spec dot js that's it so we have added the main main dot js file and main dot spec dot js file so let's try to see the output if i try to see the output now here we got the main and the update result at the bottom we are able to see it so for the main dot js file so main method and update result we are able to see it but here we are getting an error that uncaught uh, type error cannot read properties of null okay so what is that problem is if i go to here and in this main dot js file here we are having document or get element by id right it is trying to check that whether an element is present with the id input value or not it is trying to check so what can we do is we can write a condition in such a way that don't check that condition okay if the input value id element with input value is present only then only check this one now if i try to see this one so everything is gone and here we are able to see the main error, main thing and here at the top if you try to see here we are able to see that there are two pending specs so these are the validate and the validate so we are having the two pending specs so if you go here in the main dot spec dot js so here this this is the pending spec so we have we having to mention the function here right so that is the reason it's a pending spec or otherwise we can also add it xit so we can add, we can add like this so that here you will be able to see validate pending with message temporarily disabled with the xit the same thing now let's try to write the specs for this one let's try to create the specs for this one so what is the spec first spec for this uh, what i can say is first for the update result what could be the spec for this one so the spec for this one is nothing but this update result what it will try to do add result to the dom element so this is the spec it will try to do so this is the spec so what is this update result will do update result will take the result uh, element and it will try to add it add it the result to the inner text to the dom element so this is the update result so that is a spec file we have created and here in this main in the calculate let's try to see it so it is taking the expression first okay and here it is take here it is checking that whether the expression is recognized or not so that means first one what i can do is so here validates validate expression so we need to express we need to validate the expression whether it is valid or not so another one what i can say is after validation testing cases now we need to check the switch case operator so here we need to check all the if blocks so which case we need to add it so here we need to check here first one is the add thing so here i can write something like calls add okay calls add function and another one is the calls subtract so these are all the things are there right in the switch cases calls multiply and calls divide so these are in all the switch cases it will write it so we will check the each case here and we need to check the default case also operation is not recognized so here what i can do another one i can write validate operation okay i can write validate operation so another one what what we can say is after validating the operation so what another one what we need to do so update the result so we need to call the update result so here i can write another one calls update result so here we need to call the update result so whether it is calling or not we need to check it so that's it so here we have written the we have checked all the scenarios we have written all the spec uh, all the spec cases so first one is validating the expression then we need to call all all the cases so calling the add function subtract function multiply divide and also the default case validating the operation and last one is the calling the update thing so in the update result what it will try to do here it will try to check that uh, update the update the result in the dom element with having the id of result so that is the thing add result to the dom element so this is the cases now if you try to see the output here so if you try to refresh it so these are all the spec case specs we need to implement right now so we have we have created the spec cases what are the things we need to write it now we need to implement each one by one so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to implement each spec case one by one and we'll try to complete it so here we'll also we will also try to use that before all after all also in this one hope you understood about this uh, main.js creation of the spec file so this is how we will be creating the specs uh, specs for a source file 
So hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.